Hi guys, it's Amber from Launching Fitness. Maybe you found this video because you're pregnant like me, or maybe you are doing my current pregnancy program for fitness right off my website, www.amberlaunstein.com. And one of your tips was to come check out this video on how to engage your pelvic floor. I'm also gonna teach you some great tips on how to incorporate the pelvic floor exercises into your everyday workouts or the workouts that you're using with my program. Your pelvic floor is actually three layers of muscle, connective tissues, and ligaments. If you're a woman, that pelvic floor is gonna look like a figure eight. It's gonna wrap around your vagina and then come back around around the butt. So normally, you would recognize this muscle because it can help you to stop your stream or hold in farts, anything like that. It's actually a muscle that starts here at your pubic bone and then it's gonna run like a hammock underneath all the way up to your sacrum or your very lower back and it just kind of holds all that in there. If we're doing our pelvic floor exercises, our pelvic floor becomes strong, helps to stretch, which is especially helpful when you're in the birthing process because that's what you want. You want that vagina to open up and stretch. As your baby gets bigger, your pelvic floor if it's strong enough, will help to hold that heavy baby a little bit better so that you have a lower chance of injury or risk of all that nerve pain. And you're more likely to recover easily if your pelvic floor is strong and it's ready to go back how it was before birth. It may seem like pelvic floor exercises are really easy, right? You just sit there and it looks like you're doing nothing. You're doing your Kegels, but really it's a lot more in depth than that. You don't just sit there and contract, you have to learn how to relax as well. So the easiest way that most people recommend is when you're going to the bathroom trying to stop your stream. Now that is great for working the front of your pelvic floor, but we also want to work the back. Remember how I mentioned it's like a figure eight muscle. So if you practice with me right now, you can feel, sit up nice and tall, squeeze that front like you're trying to stop the stream, and you can feel you're kind of here. Now squeeze that back and you can feel you're kind of there. When you squeeze your back, you might feel your butt cheeks clench a little bit too and that's okay as well. My favorite way to learn how to contract my pelvic floor is thinking of your abs as like an elevator. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna squeeze up, almost like you're lifting your whole torso. And when you do that, you're gonna feel both the front and the back of your pelvic floor contract as you bring that elevator up. And that's how I'm gonna encourage you to incorporate it to your everyday exercises. You're not bearing down, you're not just squeezing, you're pulling up actually. Also, I wanna encourage you, don't hold your breath when you're doing these types of exercises. Just like within labor, your whole body's gonna be tense and you're gonna to have to breathe through those contractions. The same thing that I encourage during my workouts, especially your pelvic floor exercises, breathe through those uh, tense moments. Don't hold your breath. I'm going to show you how you can incorporate these into your everyday exercises. The easiest one is going to be your squat because unknowingly you're already um, contracting your pelvic floor during the squat. Has anyone read Ina Mae Gaskin's Guide to Childbirth? I uh, highly recommend it and in there she recommends a 300 squats a day challenge when you are pregnant, which seems like a lot. I've been trying to keep up on just 100 and it seems like a lot. Uh, but the squat is a really good exercise for you. And it's also one of the best that you can incorporate these pelvic floor exercises uh, to get the most. If you're like me, you don't like sitting here seeming like you're doing nothing. Only I know if I'm contracting my Kegels or my pelvic floor, uh, but it gets boring and I forget to do it. So it's easier for me when I'm doing my Ina Mae Gaskin challenge, 100 squats a day, to consciously remind myself to squeeze that pelvic floor and contract it and then I get in my pelvic floor exercises and my squats at the same time. Squats are also in my pregnancy program very often and you can use the same type of stuff there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on standing up nice and tall Take those feet wide, just like you would a normal squat. Booty is going to go back, chest is going to stay up, squat down, and then normally you just stand right up, squeezing your butt cheeks. Now I want you, with the information I just gave you, to think about your abs as that elevator. You're going to go down as normal, 
And then you're gonna squeeze up, really contracting that pelvic floor as you stand. So with squats, when you are pregnant, it's not so much about going super deep. You're gonna feel your stomach hitting your legs and that's not comfortable for anybody. Try to get to parallel and then squeeze right back up. Another great exercise that uh, incorporates the pelvic floor would be glute bridge. I would recommend doing this on like an incline, so a stability ball or even the edge of your couch or if you're at the gym, you can use a bench. Drop your hips low like you normally would and when you squeeze them up, normally you feel it in your butt and your core. Now I want you to take that elevator again, pull it up towards your chest as you come up and you will feel a difference if you are doing these exercises while you engage your pelvic floor. Doing these pelvic floor exercises is great because it not only helps your incontinence, which is huge during pregnancy and postpartum, but also it's gonna help support your lower back. As you are pregnant, your back, because of the heavy weight in front, tends to, your back will over arch. So doing your pelvic floor exercises, keeping them strong and flexible, is going to help stabilize that lower back as well, give you less lower back pain. Do your Ina Mae Gaskin challenge every day of squats, but also remember to squeeze that pelvic floor as you do your squats and breathe through all of your exercises. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on my website, www.amberlonstein.com. On there you will find my training plans for pregnancy, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to me through the contact button. And congratulations on your pregnancy.